live and in HD. This is Good Morning Washington on your side. One out of every three adults has high blood pressure, and most people get it from the foods that they eat. Yeah, and it turns out that breakfast foods can be some of the most unhealthy. So during this Hypertension Awareness Month, Seven is on your side with what exactly you should be watching out for. Our Jimmy Labanji talked to the woman known as Sodium Girl. Up on the salt shaker and processed foods. Jessica Goldman Fong was your typical American eater until nine years ago when she faced kidney failure. To stay healthy, she would need to follow a strict low sodium diet. I think what shocks most people is when they start turning around the packaged goods and they start looking at the labels. Experts say Americans are oversalted. Nearly three quarters of the sodium we consume comes from processed, prepackaged foods. Salt contributes to high blood pressure, which can lead to heart disease, stroke, heart failure, and kidney disease. We're not tasting tomato soup with a dash of salt. We're tasting salt with a dash of tomato soup. Breakfast is the meal we use to start our day, but Goldman Fong says it's also the meal with a lot of hidden sodium. The bagel itself, surprisingly, just those two slices can cost you about 500 milligrams of sodium or more. The FDA recommends the average person consume no more than 2,300 milligrams of sodium a day. That's about a teaspoon of table salt. But people with high blood pressure, African Americans, and older adults should limit their intake to 1,500 milligrams a day. That means adding cream cheese or cured meat to this bagel almost puts you at your daily limit. Instead of that bagel, you can use rice crackers. You can use corn tortillas, which have a very low amount of sodium, 0 to 15 milligrams per tortilla. What about oatmeal? According to nutrition labels, most oatmeal can cost you about 300 milligrams of sodium for one cup. Once you add milk, the number goes up. They actually make instant oatmeal in packages with zero sodium in it, so just turn those boxes around and look at the nutritional label. Goldman Fong also says to be careful about cereal. Most labels call for a serving size of a cup, but the average American eats nearly a bowl. She says look for granola or rice-based cereal with zero or low milligrams of salt, and then add coconut milk or fresh fruit. With all of these options, you really get to customize your breakfast exactly to your taste. Leading to a full belly and a full life. Jumio Lavanji, ABC 7 News. And you can read more low-sodium recipes by visiting our website. It's WJLA.com.